Cheyenne asks, is there a way to power automate an MS form surveys answers into, I like that to power automate like a verb. So did I power <laughs> automate that uh, as an, a Microsoft form surveys answers into a template uh, templates Excel document, like have the form response go into a specific location on a document for customers. Yeah, I do this myself, honestly, um, and use the Excel spreadsheet or Excel file or a SharePoint list. That would be probably my pushback to Cheyenne is why are you putting it into an Excel, Excel. template yeah. when you, you could be using a SharePoint list, which you get a lot more flexibility and capability than you do in a line items on an Excel document. But yes, um, Christian, I put a link in the um, yeah. spreadsheet there to share with people. And they're the most common things you can do with Power Automate. The one challenge that I've had, and um, I've had people try and help me, is when you have a multi-select in the multiple choice in your form, how that maps into the SharePoint list and Excel spreadsheet, because they come in as comma delimited values. They don't come in as like right. multi-select. So they kind of has to break them apart and then put them back together. Um, so that's been probably my only challenge, but otherwise it's, it's fairly easy uh, to do. If you are familiar with the data source and the destination, make sure the data types match, so. Depending on how complex your form, I mean, no, understanding how it treats that might mean that you, instead of having a, a multi-select, that you have separate questions and yes or no for each of those so that it's uh, cleaner on the automation. But yeah, this is a, again, we've had variations of this this question. I think, it, one, it's good to see more and more people that are using the, uh, as simple as Microsoft Forms are incredibly powerful and when you do publish into capture that within a SharePoint list, for example, then there's so much more that you can go and leverage that as a data source to automate other things within your business. So yeah. Well and cool I think stuff. one of the, the best kind of secrets about forms is you can actually expose those forms to people outside your organization where like Power Apps sometimes are, are limited to who you can yep. share those with so you can have your customers do a survey or a you know a product group or somebody outside the organization capture information from them and then you know put it into a sharepoint list and or excel file if they wanted and um it doesn't have to be somebody with a license within your organization best kept secret yeah, yeah. The, the really cool part is too if you want to take that even one thing further because i i do that too sherry i've same thing, Power Automate, super easy. Um, but then you can also like, let's say, for example, you want people to go there, uh, you can actually tab that list directly in Teams. So now I've got people filling out a form, taking a survey, dumping it into a SharePoint list, and that SharePoint list is served up nice and neat in a Teams tab. Nobody ever has to even go anywhere. Yeah, yep. perfect. Or a QR code. They can or do it on QR their phone. Code. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And then create your views for the different people that need to access that for different reasons. And oh yeah, that's great. Workflows that tied to it. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. That's a great answer too, is that it's uh yeah, if you are doing anything external, it's a form. If you're gonna mm -hmm. do something, it's so much simpler than if it's no pure, right. If it's pure internal, I mean, even then, it's a, it's a simpler approach, depending on what you're trying to do and what you're trying to automate. Um, but it's a very simple and quick and easy way to go and build out that interface. Thank you.